means the need to put uh, at the forefront persons with lived experiences of the illness. Now, this is according to mental health advocates who say stigma remains the biggest hindrance to mental illness treatment and management. These stakeholders were speaking during the rising above a stigma a mental health summit 2023, which is happening against the backdrop of the World Health Mental Day commemoration tomorrow. Fides Wanjiru is a mental health advocate who has suffered mental health illness. She says the biggest challenge during her recovery was stigma, a matter that inspired her advocacy journey. It was until I started going for therapy classes or therapy sessions, sorry, that my parents were called, my mom was called, and we went through one of a, a few like three sessions with her. So she got to understand what exactly having depression meant. Before that, even my friends in school, people didn't really understand what depression really means. People just think when you say you have depression, it's because you're stressed or something. They don't really understand it could be an illness. According to stakeholders in the mental health space, stigma remains the biggest hindrance to mental illness treatment and management in the country. Before, first, first, when you want to put face to mental illness, it will be the negative uh, negative kind of uh, thinking or, or expectation, you know, um, when you talk of mental illness, you expect someone to be is chained down, is being taken to Madare, but now here we're saying someone in looking well-dressed, uh, someone who is well-respected in the community, coming out and saying that I was also uh, undergoing a mental health illness or a mental health, uh, mental health challenge, so... That has been really key in changing the narration. Stakeholders were now advocating for the use of authentic faces in mental health campaigns, say there has been improvement in awareness of mental health in our society today. However, more needs to be done. Some things are looking promising, but when you get to significant statistical change, that often takes many more years to be able to get population-wide irreversible change. So it's going to need ongoing investment for it to sustain those early promising signs because we're talking about generations of prejudice and shame and exclusion and discrimination, and that doesn't change overnight. So this needs to be a long-term effort. The stakeholders were speaking during the Rising Above Stigma Mental Health Summit 2023, which is happening against the backdrop of the World Mental Health Day commemoration tomorrow. The theme this year being, Mental Health is a Universal Human Right. Zainab Mohammed, 247.